I'm Kent, the Deck Chef Whitaker, going to tell you how much charcoal to use and how to light your charcoal grill. Now, basically, there's three types of charcoal. You've got charcoal bricklets, charcoal bricklets that already have lighter fluid in them, and you have lump charcoal. Now, lump charcoal, a lot of uh, barbecue guys, a lot of professional grillers use this, and it's catching on more along the country. The thing is, it's actually kind of charcoal wood. They still look like pieces of wood. Now, you're not going to find this everywhere, so we're going to keep our discussion to charcoal briquettes. Now, charcoal briquettes basically come in two types. The kind that's normally that you'd see anywhere in a store or in a grilling store, and then there's the kind you'll also see there where it's already got the, uh, the lighter fluid mixed in with it. The great thing about these is they're uniform in size and they're uniform in shape, and if you use the same bag, every briquette in there should burn about the same length of time as the other briquettes, whereas as a, the lump charcoal, you get some pieces this big, and you get some pieces this big. So basically for this grilling session, we're gonna be talking about charcoal that you can either light with the lighter fluid or that already has a lighter fluid in it. So for this grilling session, we're basically gonna to stick to charcoal briquettes, the kind that has lighter fluid already in it, but we're gonna use the kind that doesn't because I wanna show you a couple of different ways that you can light this stuff. This is an electric lighter. You put it inside your grill, come in different shapes and sizes, put the charcoal on it, plug it in, and this element will heat up just like a stove or an oven and it'll start to heat the charcoal up. And once it starts getting gray on the bottom, you can pull this out and the charcoal pyramid will start to turn gray and get real hot. And of course, everybody knows the lighter fluid method. Grab some lighter fluid, make a pyramid of charcoal, the charcoal starter, not lighter fluid actually. And only use items like this that are approved for the grill. Don't use anything else. Don't use gasoline or anything like that. This is designed to go on charcoal briquettes. What you do is you make your charcoal pyramid and actually squirt this on the inside of the pyramid and light it from the inside. The heat source comes from the inside of the charcoal pyramid and then it basically heats from the inside, gets that whole pyramid nice and orange and you're ready to grill. My favorite way is the chimney method. Chimney starter, put the charcoal in the top, put some crumbled up newspaper on the bottom, light it and you're ready to go. Now the question is, how much charcoal to use? It all depends on the size of your grill. It all depends on what you're cooking, temperatures, rain, things like that. But what you want to keep in mind is, if you're cooking a hamburger that is that big around, you know, what you want to think is, you want to come out two inches from the diameter of that hamburger. So, plan on that. If your hamburger is that big, you want to come out that far with charcoal on all the sides. You want to make sure the charcoal underneath your food cooking is about an inch and a half, two inches all the way around it. If your temperatures start to go down, add a couple of more briquettes of charcoal right in the center and they'll heat up. But basically about 30 briquettes of charcoal is going to last you enough to cook a whole bunch of hamburgers. If you're going to do a pork butt or something like that, it's going to take a lot longer. But that's the basics on charcoal. Let me show you how to light this grill using my chimney starter. All right, I've got my chimney starter, I've got some leftover newspaper, and I've put my charcoal, not the instant light, but just regular charcoal in the chimney starter. So what I'm gonna do is take this leftover uh, crumpled up newspaper, it's not too wadded up, not too tight, because I want some air in there. I'm gonna put it up in there, in the bottom of the charcoal starter, set it down, and then light it. There's little holes in it, you can light it right through there. Now some people put a little charcoal starter down inside of it, that's fine if you wanna do that. If you don't have any, this will work as well. All you have to do is light, the inside of this, a couple of different places. I'm lighting it through the holes in the side. You can already see that it's uh, starting to smoke. So now this is going. I might need to add a little another piece of charcoal through the hole, but the whole idea is to uh, let that paper light up. It's going to bring heat up through the top. Charcoal is going to get nice and ready to go. When it's done, we'll uh, show you how to get this grill going. See you in a minute. So we got our charcoal going. It's about halfway lit. Done add newspaper to the bottom. The bottom charcoal's lit and it's gonna heat up from the bottom to the top. Only got about five more minutes and we'll be ready to grill. All right, looks like we're about ready to go. Very hot, use a protective glove, something to spread your charcoal with. Carefully grab it. Then all you wanna do, pour it onto your grill grate. Watch out for any of the ashes any of the sparks, spread it out evenly. Now for this is very hot, so don't set it on the ground if you got dogs or kids walking around, you wanna put this on a safe place, maybe a piece of extra tile or somewhere where it's not gonna hurt anybody. 
I hope you enjoyed these uh, tips on how much charcoal to use, what kind of charcoal to use, and how to start a charcoal grill. I'm Kent the Deck Chef Whitaker. Check me out online at thedeckchef.com and look for my books in your favorite bookstore. If they don't have them, they can order them. Until next time, I'll see you at the dinner table. Thank you.